what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are diving into another episode of sons of anarchy today i'm going to be doing i was supposed to do a double upload yesterday but i didn't get a chance to do two episodes i only did one so i'm going to do another one today and then we're going to do a double upload to finish up the season so this episode is here you guys know what, what happened um, in the last reaction, man, with, you know, things are getting heated. Things are getting heated, you know. Um, glad that dude didn't give up um, on the club. The club is family, man. And, you know what I'm saying, you don't rat on the family, you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm glad that he didn't go ahead, go through with it, because that lady, she was lying. I have no care for her whatsoever so we're just gonna jump into this i got some more reactions i gotta do today actually i have a read through i have to do today so yeah let's get to it all right so sons of anarchy season one wow I have to say, man, you guys have yet to let me down when it comes on to this to um to series on this channel, regardless of if it's a popular series or not. I have to say, man. Um, so let me do the the review of how they close out the season was, you know. Um, they did a very good job. I don't have anything to put this season against yet, so I'm not going to compare it to anything else. Um, as soon as we do another season, then I'll be able to be like, okay, was this better than season one? Stuff like that. But for now, these 13 episodes I just watched, brilliant. You guys have heard me throughout the season talk about the cast. The cast is absolutely stunning. I think this is probably the first time that I've ever seen so many people that I know, like, just packed into one show. Like, I think, as in, for TV shows, in movies, you see, you, you, you see that kind of stuff sometimes in movies. But for TV shows, you do not see that. That doesn't happen. You'll have one dude running the show, and then you'll get to love the other characters, maybe one or two. But this is like... I'm talking about like I've seen most of these people in in other in other things. So I'm talking about it's a star-studded cast in my opinion. Maybe not for other people but for me it's star-studded. This series has it 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 I can see why it's successful. Partly because of its um cast because these are all brilliant actors and actresses, right? All brilliant. From whatever I've known them to do, they've always been brilliant in those roles. So, um, I may not know all of them by their proper names, like their real names, but I have seen them in a ton of stuff before. Jax is very new to me. I've never seen him in anything before. You guys have recommended some stuff that he's been in. I'll check those out when I get a chance. But for the most part, man, this series really grabs you from, you know, around episode two. Not necessarily episode one. Episode one was the introduction of everything. But throughout the season from, you know, even the stalker, the guy that played the stalker, um, I think his name was Cone, right? Even him is somebody that I've known from his series before. So he came to join the cast. Um, he died, of course. But I have to say, man, 8? I, I want to give this a 9. I want to give this a solid 9 out of 10 for this season. To get, for, for giving me, for, for getting me into this series, made me more, so much more intriguing. I want to start season 2 immediately, but I usually take a break, think on things 
on you know what i would want out of season two and then i'll come back i usually take a break after every season of every show that i do sometimes i don't but most times i do right so one of the things that 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 i've regretted is that a lot of people lately have been asking me you know where are my game of thrones reactions my rome reactions stuff like that i got copyright strikes on my channel and you know I had to delete them so I didn't have to but I kind of wanted to delete them just to get them off so I deleted every single one of those reactions I deleted them all I didn't want to you know I really didn't especially my Game of Thrones reactions I didn't want to delete them but I am going to revisit it later maybe I don't know I don't want to say a year from now maybe I'll go back and watch Game of Thrones again and Rome just to have those reactions. Maybe I'll do it in a different format. I've reacted to them before, so maybe I'll do them. So people have been asking about that, um, but that needs a here nor there. I don't know why I segued into that. That just came popped up into my head that I need to talk about it. Um, but um, I guess because I was trying to compare the show to you know those, you know as as an interest. You know that grabs you in that first season and be like damn this show is good you know so i really do appreciate you guys for showing some love for sons of anarchy um so for all of you guys that have been watching the series man i appreciate y'all okay so they wrapped up the season very well i love the characters that they have in this show i love the characters i love the 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 essence of family the the family portrayal you know of what family is supposed to be like um you know s some of this decision making um i'm beginning to see why things need to change in the motor club and they did a very good job of showing why things need to change and to convince the audience that things actually do need to change because clay made a dumb decision i'm not going to lie the what, what got donna killed was a dumb decision and then they were gonna kill a 17 year old even though they, they when they found out clay didn't even try to stop tag he was like yo i just need bobby out of jail man no no if they don't have the witness because my thing would have been like hey if you know the club rules we can't be breaking club rules you get what I'm saying to to say, oh, keep family intact. No. My thing would have been like, just like what Jax did. And that's what I'm saying. Yes, they're making Jax to be the hero, the this, the that, the whatever. But if I'm in that position, that's exactly what I would have done. Intimidate the witness. You don't have to kill kill the witness, whether it's a man or a woman. You don't have to. The fact of the matter is you get to the, the safe house and get to them. That's enough proof to scare the living daylight out of that person to let them know, listen, the feds can't keep you safe. We're going to find you again. You open your mouth. You testify. You're going to die. We're going to find you again. Okay. So Jax did the right thing there. Tig was going to kill her. Tig was going to kill her. He don't care. He don't care. You know what I'm saying? So um so i love how they wrapped up the season man this thing that's going on with Gemma, hayden tara i don't know how that's gonna play out but she's just gonna have to come to accept because you're not gonna hurt tara now she good she got she got what she wanted out of jacks and she's not she's decided not to run away now you get what i'm saying she decided not to run away you get what i'm saying when you know what i'm saying i know it's kind of weird the stuff that he said to her, it was kind of weird because he's like, whenever I'm inside of somebody else, there's only one face I see. That was a weird ass line to say to someone. <laughs> that was weird. I'm not going to lie. That was the weirdest line I've heard in a very long time about anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was pretty um, dangerous to say the least. You know, um, of how she would have reacted to that but you know she got the gist of it and as i said during the reaction stuff like that is usually last resort for men 
men don't necessarily we don't often like to say certain things and i know a lot of people is like oh i want my man to be all emotional and stuff you got to understand that we express our emotions differently than you as a woman we do you know what i'm saying you just got to understand that you heard her talking about the murder and all the things that you know she can't sleep and stuff like that and she can't put it in some sort of compartment men are very good of compartmentalizing right so when it comes on to to stuff like that women are not necessarily women want to they know that we're the feelings on your sleeve so it's kind of like you, you you're not going to find a lot of women that are like stall that wants to be all manly and act all manly and and and, and stuff like that you're not gonna find a, a lot of women that are like that but at the same time I understand where she's coming from. That conversation was extremely unique to 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 them. She she didn't get where he was coming from. As I said, the con the, the stuff that he was telling her right there, he should have told her that the first time when he was forced to have the conversation when they were in the um what is that, an incubator room or whatever they call that, where the baby was at and, you know, he was kind of forced to kind of talk, that was the time for him to say all that stuff he said there at, you know, at, you know, when she told him that she was going to leave and stuff, like, that was the time for her to really, for him, for, for her to say what she had to say, didn't agree with what she was saying because I was like, you know, he's right, you're running again. You get what I'm saying? As soon as things get a little heated, you gone. You get what I'm saying? And that's the thing. He's just like, you know, it's kind of like if the man is telling you, yo, it's like God brought you back to me. Like, where are you going again? You know what I mean? So it's like that's the thing about the thing about it. And, and it kind of brings forth also, you know, when I was saying that Gemma was right. And I don't want Gemma to be right about the situation. But she was right. She kind of pegged Tara for that kind of person. And she is that type of person. But I'm glad that in the end she decided to stay. I wouldn't have liked to see that she just walked away. You know, um, you know, it would have changed my perception of her completely. You know, and it kind of plays into, you know, how things are going to go forward. I don't know. But, of course, R.I.P. Donna, you know what I'm saying? The last person that I expected to, to, to die in the show or for them to kill off in the first season of the show is the last person that I expected. I thought Opie was going to die. I thought Opie was going to die. But, hey, man, you know, for Donna to go, I mean, it's still sad. It's still sad because... She was finally at that. She was finally at that place where she was coming into acceptance of who Hopi is and to just just roll with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's decided I'm not going to abandon my family, my husband and stuff like that. And then she dies. You know what I mean? So RIP Donna. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series on the channel, man. I appreciate y'all. Just remember to hit that like button. Leave a comment. And of course... Give this season one 9 out of 10. Looking forward to more. Subscribe if you're new. Support Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace.